day. Today we will talk about examination of the patient with acquired heart defects. When we are talking about acquired heart defects, we must understand it is anatomic defect which appears nearest heart orifice or valves due to pathological action of some preceded pathological process. More often, a quiet heart defect appears of the patient after attacks of uh, aromatism. We are talking about formation of aromatic endocarditis, which is characterized with narrowing heart orifice due to pathological growth of connective tissue or diminish of the heart valves again due to pathological growth of connective tissue. Other provoke factors may be sepsis, which is a general infectious process during which affected uh, multiply in the organs and systems. Atherosclerosis often provoke factors aortic heart defects and first of all aortic stenosis due to formation of atherosclerotic plaques near its aortic orifice. And we must remember about syphilis, which complicated with formation also aortic heart defects. Rare case, acquired heart defects are formed after injury to the heart after trauma of the heart. But we'll stop on pathogenic mechanism, formation of heart defects, which appears after aromatism. It is disease which appears due to action of beta hemolytic streptococcus group A, which is trophic to connective tissue. And after primary infectious process, which first of all, localizes near the tonsils and manifested with tonsillitis, pharyngitis or in scarlet fever in younger period. When the subjectively condition of patient becomes better and he decided that he is health, after one, two weeks, he again come back to the doctor with subfibrile fever, weakness, and hydrosis, which appears due to formation of uh, antigenic properties of affected connective tissue. If you remember, I said you better hemolytic streptococcus group A is trophic to connective tissue. As a result, will be formed outer antigens and adhesive outer antibodies. And sometimes later, usually one, three weeks, we see symptoms which indicate about affection cardiovascular system. Patient feels palpitation, sometimes intermissions, dyspnea after physical exercise and heart pain which indicates about involvement heart into the pathological process and may be manifested with myocarditis or endocarditis or maybe total affection of all heart structures. Rheumatic myocarditis may disappear without any complication, but rheumatic endocarditis finish with formation a quiet heart defect due to pathological growth of connective tissue and narrowing orifice or diminished wells. Rare case, rare case, this process manifested more actively and characterized with remitting temperature. You remember it's higher than 38 degrees by Celsius. 
accompanied with general actinia, fatigue, perspiration. No, usually it is characteristic if in pathological process involved all heart structure, myocardium, endocardium, and pericardium, and you understand it's finished with more serious complications. We said about complication of uh, aromatic endocarditis, involvement in the structures of the heart in pathological process. And if the connective tissue grows near the valves, its size diminishes and they cannot close orifice during definite period of heart activity. We are talking about valvular incompetence or valvular insufficiency if we we'll orient it on pathomorphological substances or characteristic of disease. But in some countries, diseases is formed due to hemodynamic disorders. From anatomy and physiology, you know, main function of wealth is close the orifice to prevent abnormal blood flow. And if the valve are closed, blood regurgitated abnormal blood flow and name of this disease will be regurgitation depending on affected wealth we can say about mitral aortic tricuspid or pulmonary trunk regurgitation if the connective tissue growth nearest orifice it's narrowed and we are talking about stenosis and again diseases will be formulated depending location pathological process mitral or aortic, maybe pulmonary trunk, or tricuspid stenosis. I said you that beta hemolytic streptococcus group A is trophic to all connective tissue and except the heart in pathological process involved other organs and tissue which are rich with connective tissue. There are skin, joints, maybe lung, liver, kidney, nervous system. But, but uh, this process disappears without any complication. Inflammation of joints disappears without the deformation and defiguration. Problems with liver and lung after effective treatment also disappears without any complication and only affection of endocardium finish with formation a quiet heart defect. To understand clinical manifestation of uh, a quiet heart defect, I want that you remember hemodynamic because to explain clinical picture of any heart defect, you must clear understand hemodynamic, direction of blood during systolic, diastolic period, what valve closed, what orifice opened. Let's remember, systolic period is characterized with contraction of ventricle and ejection of blood in lesser and greater circulation. Vessel orifice must be opened, atrioventricular, closed. And you understand, if the problem with valve, it will be manifested during systolic period. If with orifice, also during systolic period. Vessel orifice narrowed stenosis will be hot during systolic period wealth incompetence regurgitation also may be hot in systolic period but only depending atrioventricular wealth or vessels orifice diastolic period heart relaxed ventricle filled with blood Atrioventricular orifice must be opened, vessels similar valve closed, and 
During this period, it might be called stenosis of atrioventricular orifice or vessels in valve incompetence or aortic or pulmonary trunk regurgitation. If it's clear for you, we can talk about characteristic of every heart defect because on exam, these questions will be given separately. Auscultative picture of the patient with any heart defect. And obligatory when will be cash and auscultate heart will ask you about some MoMA and sound problem comparing with heart defect. Mitral stenosis or narrowing of left atrioventricular orifice. You see, if you compare health right and affected left, you see as pathological growth of connective tissue after attacks of rheumatism, narrowed mitral orifice. And then more significantly narrow with orifice, that more significantly will be disturbed hemodynamic because it abstract blood flow. As a result, disturbed normal hemodynamic. And you must understand, patient come to you with symptoms which correlated with disordered hemodynamic. Before organism compensates this process, patient subjectively has. And only period sub and decompensation, patient will go to the doctor because affected hemodynamic restrict his vital activity. You see health heart during diastolic period, mitral orifice must be opened and blood easy go into the left ventricle to fill it. Patient with mitral stenosis, mitral orifice narrow it. blood flow restricted and Left ventricle cannot be adequately filled with blood. Compare normal and abnormal blood flow. Let's see how will be disturbed hemodynamic. If the left mitral orifice narrow it, left atrium overloaded. And it must more intensively contract it in pre-systolic period to push all blood into the left ventricle and compensate hemodynamic and heart stroke in next, during next systolic period. For this purpose, left atrium hypertrophy. It's overloaded with Pressure because primary left ventricle, left atrium activity insignificant. Blood actively go into the left ventricle through the normal mitral orifice. When left atrium hypertrophy, organism responds with protective Kitaev reflex to hold left atrium from overloading. It is possible due to constriction of the vessels left circulation, which restrict blood flow to the left atrium and as a result into the left ventricle also. It is positive side of Kitaev reflex, but every situation has two sides, positive and Negative, negative sides of Kitaev reflex due to spasm of lesser circulation vessels and increased pressure in lesser circulation, problem appears into the right ventricle, which also must more intensively contract it to push blood through the 
high blood vessels with high blood pressure. Right ventricle compensatory hypertrophy. But you must remember, hypertrophic muscles needed adequate blood supply. Blood volume in left ventricle restricted, depending narrowing of orifice. As a result, heart stroke also diminish. And hypertrophic heart chamber lack of blood flow, non-adequate blood supply. Active contraction without adequate blood supply finish with dystrophic process. Dystrophic process diminish contractive ability. We are talking about formation of heart failure. Patient with mitral stenosis will go to the doctor period of decompensation with symptoms of the heart failure. First of all, congestion in less articulation due to failure of left atrium and then greater articulation due to failure of right ventricle. Let's remember complaints of the patient. Congested and less articulation characterized with dyspnea. Then, due to progression, patient complains of cough and hematosis and palpitation as compensatory response on decreased heart stroke. Congestion and great circulation manifested with edema, first of all on lower extremities, and then discomfort and pain in right hypochondrium due to distension of liver, due to delayed blood. If you was attentive last lecture, you easily understand problem of the patient. On inspection, we can see signs of heart failure, acrocyanosis, but it has specific characteristic. Cyanosis on the face accompanied with its reddenish color. We are talking about formation facies mitralis, bluish red color, especially of the check. Facies mitralis, visited cut of mitral stenosis. We can see dilation of jugular vein due to progressive congestion of blood and greater circulation. We can see legs edema also as a result congestion of blood in greater circulation. You see picture with dilated jugular vein and I'll again remember you order control of leg edema will push skin on the inner surface of tibia to the bone sides which is poor with mask muscles. Examination of heart region. Mitral stenosis is characterized with specific symptoms. We can see or can palpate cardiac beat, which is visible or field vibration of the absolute cardiac dullness over the right ventricle due to the hypertrophy. We can see epigastric pulsation. It depends from intensity, hypertrophy of the right ventricle. On palpation, 
We can palpate specific diastolic vibration or diastolic cat's paw symptom, which is filled over hot apex. We put palm on the area of hot apex and can feel vibration during diastolic period, which is more intensive than more compensated activity of left atrium because when it's push blood through the narrow it orifice blood stream push on the heart and will feel its vibration arterial pulse also has specific characteristic and first of all we can reveal pulsus difference if you remember we'll start examination of pulse from its symmetry and pulse will be asymmetric on the left hand it will be filled badly more weak because considerable hypertrophy of the left atrium compressed left subclavia artery and as a result blood flow through the left artery slightly restricted we see that pulse volume also decreases if you remember when we'll palpate radial artery to determine its diameter it becomes less than three millimeters it's tightly correlated with heart stroke, then more significantly narrow with mitral orifice, less blood going to the left ventricle. As a result, heart stroke also diminish. And last problem. We can reveal specific arrhythmia, atrial fibrillation. If you remember, when we talk with you about heart arrhythmias, I said your atrial fibrillation appears due to diseases which finish on three oases, one from which was mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is provoked factors, atrial fibrillation. On percussion, will reveal displacement of the heart body we remember in pathological process was involved two heart chamber left atrium and right ventricle as a result heart body displays upward and to the right due to hypertrophy of left atrium and right ventricle on auscultation main picture which is characteristic for mitral heart defects will be auscultated over heart apex for sound becomes loud snapping we see its amplitude more than two times over the second because left ventricle health amount of blood diminish and it's easy contracted due to intensification of muscular component for sound over heart apex increases Then we'll have additional search stroke, which is characteristic for triple rhythm. We'll have sound opening mitral valve. Because its elasticity decreases, blood increase pressure in left atrium. And main characteristic of mitral stenosis is presystolic diastolic moment. You see, after second sound will go intensified to the end of diastole, moment, presystolic moment, it is audible turbulence movements of blood. Uh, it's more intensive at the end of diastole, period of presystolic contraction of left atrium, which push delayed blood through the narrow orifice. Overhead base also will be specific changing. We'll have accent second sound over pulmonary trunk. If you remember mechanism Kitaev reflex, which finish with increased pressure in left circulation, 
А it's characterized with increased second sound over pulmonary trunk, which becomes hot louder than over aorta. You see, auscultation of the heart is very rich with pathological symptoms, but I'll again pay your attention. Main signs of the mitral stenosis is diastolic. Mom, and we remember about often complication, atrial fibrillation, hot sound arrhythmic, and different intensity. I'll pay your attention. Diastolic mama is visited cut of mitral stenosis. If you hold any mama over the heart points, first of all, will exclude heart defect. On ECG. We can reveal signs hypertrophic heart chamber. High and wide P wave in first standard leg is characteristic for hypertrophy of the left atrium. Deep F wave with first standard lead with high R wave search standard lead indicates about hypertrophy of the right ventricle. Echocardiography. Helps clear pathology because we can measure thickness of the wall and diameter of orifice. You see, mitral orifice significant narrow it comparing with no. And you see, a significantly narrow it mitral orifice on this cut. We see diastolic period, right atrioventricular orifice open completely, left slightly. Doppler echocardiography show direction of blood. And if we see pathological sick peak in diastolic period, presystolic, Indicates about diastolic moma, which is hot on auscultation. X-ray examination is not prescribed obligatory for diagnosis of mitral stenosis, but you know that X-ray examination of the chest is obligatory method examination for any patient which enters in hospital. And together with lung, will obligatory assess heart. Heart has specific mitral configuration, like ball, due to hypertrophic left atrium and right ventricle. Heart has specific ball mitral configuration. Next heart defect, mitral valve insufficiency or mitral regurgitation. I explained you this Characteristic named of pathomorphological, this is hemodynamic characteristic. Mitral valve shortening, as a result, they cannot close mitral orifice during systolic period. And due to contraction of ventricle, blood together with together with uh, ejection of the blood into the aorta, blood come back into the left atrium. We are talking about pathological hemo. Dynamic pathological blood regurgitation. Normally, during diastolic period, vessels orifice opened, atrioventricular must be closed. This picture also demonstrates you normal and pathological blood regurgitation. What will be this hemodynamic? You understand if the part blood come back into the left atrium, it's mixed with normal blood flow from 
left articulation, left atrium overloaded with blood volume, which during next diastolic period come back into the left ventricle. Left ventricle dilated and hypertrophied to push excessive blood into the greater circulation. Primary activity of left ventricle high and sometimes this process may be compensated. But we remember any hypertrophy after sometimes finish with dystrophy. And when the activity of left ventricle diminish, blood delayed into the left atrium. Left atrium involved in pathological process. First of all, it's compensatory hypertrophy and into it increased pressure to push blood into the left ventricle. And when pressure into the left atrium increases, immediately ketai reflex appears as protective response. Whether the left circulation constricted, pressure in left circulation increased and Right ventricle also involved in pathological process, which overloaded with pressure and compensatory hypertrophy. You see, in mitral regurgitation, all heart chamber involved in pathological process. First of all, left ventricle, then left atrium and right ventricle. Patient complaints of congestion of blood in left circulation, first of all. We remember there are dyspnea, palpitation, cough, and hemoptosis. On inspection, we see central cyanosis because first of all, problem will be with left circulation and patient usually come to the doctor before the compensation of right ventricle. It's a bit late. Will be total heart failure. On palpation, will reveal displacement apex bit due to hypertrophy left ventricle. It's displayed laterally from mid-clavicular line, becomes diffuse, high and resistant. On percussion, we reveal displacement all hot bodies. To the left, because hypertrophy left ventricle, upward due to hypertrophy left atrium, and slightly to the right due to reflectory compensatory hypertrophy right ventricle. But most significantly pathological process localizes nearest left heart channels. On auscultation, we are talking about mitral heart defect and main picture will be over the heart apex. For sound will be decreased because both its components affected. First of all, valvular component, unclosed mitral valve and muscular component due to dilated and hypertrophied heart muscles. Weak for sound. We see systolic noma will help turbulence movement through the unclosed mitral valve. Noma organic because anatomic heart defect and it's radiated in zero points, fifth interspace along mid axillary line. If you remember, irradiation of MoMA is characteristic only for organic heart moments, which help differentiate them from functional. And over heart base will hear X and second sound over pulmonary trunk to the left of sternum due to increased pressure in lesser circulation. And I'll again pay your attention. Visited cut of the 
mitral regurgitation is systolic moment over the heart apex which radiated to the zero point. Instrumental examination on ECG will see signs hypertrophied left atrium, P mitrale, white and high P wave in first standard lead and hypertrophy of the left Ventricle B path wave in third and high R wave in third standard lead. X ray examination reveals mitral heart configuration, but it's more intensively displaced to the left because hypertrophy left ventricle, left atrium, and slightly right ventricle ball-like configuration of the heart. Echocardiography show problems with uh, heart valves and blood flow. You see normal blood flow from, into, from left ventricle into the aorta and pathological regurgitation into the left atrium through the unclosed mitral valve. It's seen on Doppler examination. We see pathological peaks which indicate about regurgitated blood flow. Aortic heart defect aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation. Again, you see pathomorphological characteristic of this heart defect, pathological growth of connective tissue nearest aortic orifice, which diameter significantly diminish comparing with normal pulmonary trunk orifice and you understand the more narrow the orifice then less blood ejected in greater circulation normal and restricted blood flow let's see on hemodynamic if the aortic orifice narrow it to compensate greater circulation blood flow, left ventricle must be contracted with more intensive force, which is possible due to its compensatory hypertrophy, which then finish with dystrophy. And if in mitral heart defects, First problem of the patient appears due to heart decompensation and connected with heart failure in aortic heart defect. First problem appears with greater circulation with non-adequate blood flow to the organs and tissue. And first of all, more sensitive to decrease blood flow central nervous system and heart because it's more active muscular organs which needed adequate blood supply and first problem of the patient will be connected with non-adequate blood supply patient complains of Pain in the heart, like a text of angina pectoris, because they provoke by physical exercise, which normally physiologically needed more active blood flow. And it's impossible because heart stroke diminish. We see problem with central nervous system. Patient progressively loses vital activity 
because he feels giddiness, headache, sometimes tendency to fainting, which appears due to disordered blood supply of central nervous system. And then will be signs which appear due to congestion of blood and lethal circulation, dyspnea, palpitation, then cough, and hematosis, dependent progression of disease. Two groups of complaint. First of all, which insufficient blood ejection into the arterial system, and other due to congestion of blood in lethal circulation. On inspection, skin of the patient will be pale due to insufficient blood supply. And in clinical practice, we distinguish red heart defect, patient with mitral stenosis and mitral regurgitation. You remember facies mitralis, bluish red color of pain. And white heart defect, aortic heart defect, when the pace, uh, skin of the patient becomes pale. And first of all, doctor can see about anemia. But we remember that every patient must be completely exempt. If the doctor pay attention only on complaints of patient, weakness, decreased work capacity, early fatigue, see pale skin, send him on blood analysis without full examination and with false disease. On palpation, we reveal problem with apex bit, which will be displaced, becomes diffuse, high and resistant due to hypertrophy of the left ventricle. And we can palpate specific systolic vibration over aorta. We put our palm over second interspace to the right of sternum and feel systolic vibration. Same mechanism as diastolic vibration in mitral stenosis through the narrowing orifice in compensated period. Active heart contraction push blood, it's push over the wall of aorta and provoke its vibration. And problem will be with peripheral pulse. Pulse on radial artery becomes small and rare. It's tightly correlated with heart stroke. Percussion reveal displacement only left heart body because only left ventricle involved in pathological process is hypertrophied to compensate blood flow into the aorta through the narrowed orifice. On auscultation, main picture will be over aorta. But we remember about order of auscultation, apex, aorta, pulmonary trunk, siphoid process. And when we'll auscultate heart apex, we'll reveal diminished first sound due to decreased muscular component because hypertrophied left ventricle. Second sound over aorta also diminish because decreased heart stroke and blood, systolic blood pressure. And we'll hear turbulent movements of the blood which go through the narrow with aortic orifice. Rough, loud systolic moment over aorta conducted onto the carotid artery and first of all right carotid 
atere. I fed you that systolic blood pressure diminish, but diastolic will be nearest normal. As a result, pulse pressure decreases. And again, I'll pay your attention. Visited cut of aortic stenosis is rough systolic moment over aorta conducted onto the carotid arteries. You see point for auscultation of carotid arteries will put stethoscope on the mandibule in carotid triangle. We palpate carotid artery during auscultation of the heart and on exam will be separate question about auscultation of carotid artery. On ECG, we'll reveal sign hypertrophied left ventricle, electrical axis deviate to the left. We record deep S wave in short and high R wave first standard lead. And high R wave in fifth, sixth stand, uh, chest lead, which becomes higher than fourth, which is characteristic for overloading left ventricle. Normally, more high R wave in check lead might be recorded in V4. X-ray examination reveal aortic configuration of the heart. If you remember preceded mitral configuration, you see if mitral configuration resembles ball, aortic configuration resembles shoes. Because it appears due to hypertrophy only left ventricle. Sometimes may be recorded post dilation of ascending aorta because blood push and slightly deformed aorta. Echocardiography. Echocardiography. Reveals problem with aortic orifice. You see as it's narrowed and restrict blood flow from the left ventricle. A chambers of left ventricle become sick due to its hypertrophy. Doppler echocardiography shows pathological peaks which indicates about turbulence movements of the blood through the narrowing aortic orifice. And last heart defect on which we'll stop today is aortic valve insufficiency or aortic regurgitation. Diminish aortic valve Manifested with unclosed aortic orifice during diastolic period. We remember that during diastolic period, atrioventricular orifice open, semilunar valve closed to prevent abnormal blood flow regurgitation. As a result, if we compare norm when the blood go only into the left ventricle and right ventricle also, in aortic regurgitation, some blood come back into the left ventricle from the aorta. Because at the beginning of diastolic period, when the left ventricle empty, pressure in aorta increased, blood come back in the area with low blood pressure. Normally, it's prevented by close semilunar valve. 
In our case, they unclothed and blood easy come back into the left ventricle. Left ventricle overloaded because volume of blood increases. Together with normal blood, it take blood from greater circulation, come back blood. To push this blood during systolic period, left ventricle first of all dilated and then compensatory hypertrophy. But then more significantly slid between unclothed semilion of well, then more blood come back in left ventricle. And again, first problem of the patient will be with circulation of the blood in greater circulation, which not enough for normal active life. Later, with decompensation of the left ventricle. Complaints of the patient. Again, first problem with cardiovascular and central nervous system. Patient feels pain in the heart as angina pectoris. As a result, relative coronary insufficiency because pronounced hypertrophy of myocardium needed more intensive blood circulation and it becomes impossible first of all due to comeback blood flow and due to low diastolic pressure coronary circulation tightly correlated with diastolic blood pressure other problem with central nervous system patient feels giddiness uh, decreased work capacity, sometimes uh, syncope and any other problems, which again explained by deranged blood supply and low diastolic pressure. And groups of problems, which indicate about decompensation of the left ventricle and the result congestion of blood in lesser circulation, dyspnea, palpitation, weakness, then maybe cough and hemoptosis. On inspection, again, white heart defect, pale skin of the patient due to insufficient blood supply to the arterial system. We can see specific signs which characteristic only for aortic heart defect. This is heart defect which is very rich with visible signs. And first of all, we'll see specific carotid shadow, pulsation carotid artery. Why? Because during systolic period, Arteries filled with blood. I will remember left ventricle overloaded with blood volume. As a result, heart stroke increased. Carotid artery full with blood. And then at the beginning of diastolic period, some blood come back. And first of all, from carotid arteries, which localizes near the heart. And arteries collapse and we see the dilation during systolic and collapse during diastolic period. Pulsation of carotid arteries is visited cut of aortic regurgitation. Together with pulsation carotid artery we see rhythmical movements of the head which obligatory synchronous with pulse. Muscet signs I'll pay your attention. Movement of the head obligatory synchronous with arterial pulse. Because asynchronous movement of the head is characteristic for neurological pathology, Parkinsonism. We can see specific 
positive capillary pulse or quinque pulse. It is rhythmic pulsation of the red spot on the nail. If you remember last course, when we examined arterial and capillary pulse, we pressed on the tip of fourth finger and control position of red spots, which normally unmovable. Only of the patient with aortic regurgitation, we see its movement. It's again connected with circulation of blood in greater circulation, when the vessels overfill during systolic and colored during diastolic period. We can see rhythmical reddening of the skin after rubbing. Also, same mechanism as Positive capillary pulse, muscet signs, and carotid shadow. All these symptoms appear due to variation of the pressure in arterial system. High during systolic and low during diastolic because vessels overfill during systolic period with blood and Empty during diastolic period. Palpation. Problems with heart apex, which display becomes diffuse, high, and resistant due to hypertrophy left ventricle. And it's more intensively displayed patient with aortic regurgitation. Sometimes we can feel pulsation of left ventricle to the axillary line. Some problem will be with peripheral pulse. It becomes fast, full and high. It's full during systolic period, but very fast disappears during diastolic period. We are talking about fast and high. Pulse, which connected with deviation between systolic and diastolic pressure. We remember high systolic, low diastolic, and result high pulse pressure. And increased volume of the blood during systolic and decreased during diastolic period. On percussion. Again, problem only with left ventricle, which will be displaced to the left. I said you, sometimes significantly displayed before axillary line. Because dilation accompanied with hypertrophy. On auscultation, main Auscultative picture will be recorded over aorta, but again will go depending order of heart auscultation. And if you remember last classes, you easily remember that aortic regurgitation also very rich with auscultative pathological symptoms. No, first of all, over the heart apex will be heard diminish for sound due to hypertrophy left ventricle. We said left ventricle before hypertrophy significantly dilated and provoke relative mitral insufficiency. Health wells cannot close widen it or revive. Over heart apex may be hot systolic Moma, functional moma, because over mitral valve and torified, no anatomic defects. You see for sound diminish, as in case of mitral regurgitation, muscular and valvular component. But in mitral regurgitation, valvular component due to anatomic defects 
shortened mitral valve due to pathological growth of connective tissue. Here, relative mitral insufficiency because mitral valve are closed due to widening mitral orifice because dilation left ventricle. Second sound over aorta diminish because no valvular component. Main components of the second sound. And will have diastolic moment. Turbulence movement come back blood which regurgitate onto the Botkin air point. And again, I'll pay your attention. Main clinical picture of visited cut of the aortic regurgitation is diastolic moment over aorta and at the Botkin air point. I won't remember your mechanism formation of functional MoMA at the heart apex of the patient with aortic regurgitation. No, one minute ago we said about systolic MoMA due to relative mitral incompetence because dilated left ventricle dilate mitral orifice which cannot be closed with normal mitral valve that not growth together with dilation of orifice. And diastolic or flint moma, flint is water, which appear due to related mitral stenosis. Let's remember mechanism of its formation. During diastolic period, when blood come back from aorta, it's push on the mitral which cannot be completely opened. As a result, mitral orifice narrow it due to rising one cap of mitral valve. We are talking about relative mitral stenosis because no problem with valve and orifice. They artificially narrow it due to rising mitral valve by action of comeback blood flow. And blood go into the left ventricle with turbulence movement, which is, will be hot as diastolic moment. Over the heart apex patient with aortic regurgitation will hurt two moma, systolic and diastolic. But both moma are related because they not connected with anatomic defect. We'll reveal specific symptoms during auscultation of femoral artery. And on exam will be separate question about auscultation of femoral artery. And you must start from information that femoral artery auscultated only of the patient with aortic regurgitation to reveal double trauma sound and double vinagrada durazia moma. You remember we put stethoscope over femoral artery above femoral ligamentum. Carefully to reveal vibration of the artery during systolic dilation and diastolic collapse. When we push on the stethoscope on the art with stethoscope on the artery to form artificial narrowing, will show double normal systolic normal and abnormal diastolic. Come back, turbulence, blood flow. Arterial pressure also has specific characteristics. Systolic pressure rises because increased heart stroke. 
Diastolic falls because peripheral arteries empty due to combat blood flow as a result high pulse pressure. For example, blood pressure of the patient with aortic regurgitation may be 210 for systolic and 30 for diastolic. On ECG, will reveal signs hypertrophic left ventricle, same as for aortic stenosis. Electrical axis deviate to the left because deep S wave in third and high R wave third and high R wave V5-6, which indicates overloading left ventricle. On X-ray examination, aortic heart configuration due to hypertrophy left ventricle, and we see the thin weight of the heart. Maybe compensatory dilation of the aorta due to comeback blood flow. Also, you see specific shoes like aortic configuration of the heart. echocardiography echocardiography shows unclosed aortic valve which explain regurgitated blood flow onto the left ventricle and you see normal blood flow from the left atrium and abnormal through the unclosed aortic valve and you understand as easy right cap of mitral valve to formate aortic uh, relative mitral stenosis. And Doppler echocardiography show regurgitation of the blood from the aorta through the unclosed aortic orifice. And if you see colorated picture, you also can easily see normal blood flow from left atrium into the left ventricle, which is bluish color, and abnormal combat blood flow from aorta into the left ventricle. Also, you see abnormal regurgitated blood flow from through the unclosed aorta into the left ventricle, which mixes with normal blood flow from aorta into the left ventricle. That's all information about heart defect, but I not finish. I won't continue because next lecture will be more informative and I won't start today that we can finish cardiovascular system next lecture. And after one minute, I'll start new material about ex-diagnosis of myocardial infarction. Я осталась чуть-чуть время, а хотела умереться больше, чтобы я ее пили в следующий раз прочитала. Можно переключить на следующую лекцию? Где она? Она на флешке. А как же, я закрою его, потом опять заново открывать? Так не получится. А мы ее свернем сейчас, да? Ну, вы это можете свернуть и открыть еще одну. Какая? Вот эту вот, десятую, десятую. 
Вот она, десятка. Вот тут закрыли. А вы закрыли, да? Нет, я не закрыла. Где она пошла? Ну да, а где я вижу? Где не вижу уже тогда? Тоже? Да, все хорошо, тогда открывайте лекцию дальше, чтобы она была открыта в полный экран, чтобы я могла ее листать. Угу. Все, я поняла. Есть звук? Ага. Вы спросите. Will continue, Angel will start. To explain patient with ischemic heart diseases. Ischemic heart diseases, there are group pathology which appears due to restricted coronary circulation. And we distinguish two main problems. There are angina pectoris and myocardial infarction. When we are talking about angina pectoris, we seen about acute but transient disorders of the coronary circulation. Are they what? Coronary circulation restricted during short time and not accompanied with significant affection of the heart. Process develops slowly. Later will be some problem with the heart. As formation of cardiosclerosis. But this process slow because disorder of coronary circulation short time and may be released with some methods, about which we'll say later. Myocardial infarction, it's grave pathology, because disordered coronary circulation prolonged, as a result, will be death of the heart muscle and formation of necrotic focus. You must understand, we said, with you that heart is more active muscular organs which needed adequate blood supply. If it disturbs short time, patient feels short time discomfort, subjective disorders. We are talking about angina pectoris. If this process prolong, heart muscles died, we are talking about formation necrotic focus and our disease will be myocardial infection. Pathological process appears due to affection of coronary arteries with atherosclerotic plaques. You can compare health artery and affected artery. You see its diameter diminished due to formation of atherosclerotic plaques and together with diminished diameter of coronary arteries will be 
affected is intima and its functional activity. And spasm of coronary arteries accompanied with complete obstruction of affected arteries. You see, if the normal coronary artery constricted blood flow, hold. If the coronary artery with coronary plugs, its lumen completely obstructed and blood flow stop. And then more coronary artery involved in pathological process, then more significant pathological process and intensive clinical manifestation. You see process formation of atherosclerotic plaque and formation near them thrombotic mass because I said you in pathological process involved intima of the coronary vessels and will be disturbed normal physiological process with formation secondary surrounded inflammation and disordered hemodynamic with predilection to formation of thrombus due to adhesion of thrombocytes to affected intima of the vessel. Pathogenic mechanism. Organic obstruction of the coronary arteries with atherosclerotic plaques or dynamic obstruction of coronary arteries due to coronary spasm manifested with disordered hemodynamic. But if the spastic process not accompanied with disordered characteristic of vessels intima, obstruction with atherosclerotic plugs accompanied with formation of the thrombotic matter due to adhesion of thrombocyte and disordered functional properties of the blood flow. Any physical activity or psychic overexcitation stress Normally accompanied with compensatory vasodilation to hold coronary circulation. Affected coronary arteries respond this non adequately and non adequate response of coronary artery disturbed coronary circulation and in this situation myocardium needed in increased blood oxygenation will have decreased blood flow through the affected coronary artery and this correlation between blood flow and oxygenation of myocardium and they need it clinically manifested with attacks of angina pectoris if this process prolonged will be formed necrotic fossa and we are talking about myocardial infarction risk factors may be divided on two groups exogenous which may be regulated and depends from our vital activity and endogenous, which difficulty regulated. If we are talking about exogenous factors, group of people which predilected to formation ischemic heart diseases are the patient with excess high caloric feeding, patient with hypodynamia, with over excitation, psychological over excitation, and we know some professions which accompany it with psychological over excitation. First of all, there are doctors, teachers, drivers, 
patient with abuse, smoking and alcohol, and long-term administration of hormone contraceptive agents, which is provoke factors for women. Now, if you see on all these factors, you understand they depend from our life activity. And we are provoke factors of ischemic heart disease. And the GNOs provoke or risk factors. First of all, there are arterial hypertension because it's accompanied with abnormal constriction of peripheral vessels. Increased level of blood lipids, sometimes it may be a result of some genetic disorders. Obesity may be elementary or maybe hormonal, sometimes not dependent from our vision. Glucose tolerance abnormalities provoke factors of disordered lipid metabolism and as a result formation of atherosclerotic plaque. We must remember about electrolyte and microelement metabolism. Hypothyroidism provoke factors of ischemic heart diseases because thyroid gland regulate activity of cardiovascular system. And more often, all these problems appear due to some hereditary predilected factors. And age-specific and sex factors. Ischemic heart diseases only appear in men because there are more specific for men groups. And after some age period, level of ischemic heart diseases between men and women becomes approximately same. Clinical picture of angina pectoris. Characterized with specific retrosternal pain. Remember, please, this picture patient show source of pain or discomfort. Retrosternal, which characterized with constriction, compression, heaviness. Rare cave, it has burning or sometimes sharp or stabbing characteristic. More often, it is constricted, compressed pain. We remember about other characteristic of any pain. I remember you location, irradiation, characteristic, provoke and releasing factors. Pain retrosternal, which irradiates upward to the left, left shoulder, left arm, left part of the neck, left intrascapular region. Due to viscera sensory reflexes, due to same irradiation. We said about its characteristic. Pressing, heaviness, pain, which appears usually after physical or emotional overexcitation, especially after fast walking or intensive physical activity. We are talking about angina pectoris of effort. Later, when the pathological process progresses, Attacks of angina pectoris may be at night during sleep. We are talking about angina pectoris at rest and it is bad prognosis for the patient. Other provoke factors is emotional stress and heavy smoke. We must remember about heavy meals. Because blood flow intensively go to the abdominal organs, first of all, into the stomach, and the heart becomes poor with blood flow, are affected coronary vessels, intensify this problem. And sometimes provoke factors may, may be connected with seasons period, when the, especially intensified during winter, when the patient 
go out from the warm room and to the cold street. And we must remember about atmospheric pressure. And sometimes you can listen some information about increase or decrease atmospheric pressure and more intensive attention of the cardiovascular group patient. But first of all, it is physical and emotional overexcitation. Pain disappears after taking nitroglycerin. It's, we remember, for angina pectoris, it's short time, 20-30 minutes, rare case. More often, some second, 5-10 minutes. Patient release provoke factors, physical exercise, he can stop and pain disappear. But if the pain prolongs, it's accompanied with tachycardia, sometimes disordered heart rhythm and maybe increased blood pressure. But it is characteristic for the patient with progressive affection of coronary arteries with atherosclerotic plaques. And we remember pain disappears after taking nitroglycerin, which will put under the tongue or maybe some ointment with nitroglycerin, which we can put immediately on the heart region. 3-5 minutes, pain disappears because action of nitroglycerin is relaxation of coronary arteries. Blood flow come back to no and pain disappears. On inspection, we can see only during attacks of pain, we can see sometimes fear of death, especially if the pain more intensive or if it appears for time and patient unknown about action of nitroglycerin. Sometimes we can see pale or slightly tyanotic coloration of the skin. If we'll touch of the patient, his extremities may be cold. No, first of all, due to activity of vegetative nervous system as the response on any acute situation. Sometimes may be revealed hyperesthesia of the skin, again as a, a response of vegetative nervous system. Pulse may be fast or slow and may be revealed heart arrhythmias, usually extrasystole and problem with blood pressure. But I'll again pay your attention all these symptoms only during attacks of pain. Patient must be near the doctor. For the diagnosis, we'll use ACG, but it will be uh, with high diagnosis value only during attacks of pain. If patient come to you in the subjective Health period, no problems to reveal. Angina pectoris will use halter monitoring when we like them heart activity during one, sometimes two, three days. Will ergometry or exercise treadmill test when we we'll check response of the heart on a specific uh, controlled physical exercise. We can use ultrasonography and coronography of the heart coronary vessels or imaging stress test to reveal a uh, site of affected coronary artery and decide question about next treatment. On ACG, sign disordered coronary circulation only during attacks of pain. We can reveal displacement ST segment below isoelectrical line, its depression, and some pathology of T wave. It may be negative or two phase sometimes sharp, but it appears only during attacks of pain. When we we'll give nitroglycerin after five minutes, all this uh, displacement come back to no. And if the patient uh, exam during subjectively health period, no problems with ACG. You see only short time displacement as the segment and Change polarity of the pain. 
Exercise treadmill test and vela ergometry will give control physical exercise depending of age, sex, and uh, weight of the patient. And together with physical exercise will record ACG criteria of positive test. Patient feel discomfort or pain in the chest region. Patient feels dyspnea, blood pressure decreased more than 10 mm from initial and depression is the segment more than 1 mm from either electrical line. will immediately stop exercise and formulate conclusion about affection of coronary arteries. The abnormal response on physical exercise. Coronarography reveal narrowing of coronary arteries. You see in this patient, 95 coronary arteries diminish and blood flow significantly restricted. This patient needed in specific surgical correction. Same problem we see on imaging stress test. We see area with reduced blood flow, which colorated with blue color. Intravascular ultrasound examination not widely used for clinical practice because it's invasive method, but if it used, it reveals also narrowing of coronary artery due to pathological growth of connective tissue. You can compare pathological and normal coronary arteries, also normal and pathological coronary arteries. Principles of treatment, nitroglycerin, as drops, as capsule, as tablets, or as a ointment of cardiac region. But if patient has intensive affection of coronary artery, as you saw on coronarography, 95% will recommend him angioplasty or introduction of stent into the coronary artery, which prevent it's abnormal constriction. You see, we'll introduce stent and prevent abnormal collapse of coronary artery. As a result, you can compare angiogram of the patient before and after stent treatment. Blood flow completely come back, will prevent attacks of angina pectoris and prevent myocardial infarction. Stent treatment is method with prophylaxis of myocardial infarction or other what acute coronary situation. Again, you can compare patient before and after stent treatment, coronary circulation restored, blood supply nearest no subjectively patient health, he can do normal physical exercise and will prevent formation of myocardial infarction. That all today about myocardial infarction will continue to talk during next lecture. Thank you so much for your attention. Be healthy. We will meet with you through the 